What is going on, Bear Fishing? We are live in Broward County and we are catching nice peacock bass. Oh, I got the big one. Oh, bang, blow up. Oh, there's another one. What's going on, Bear Fishing? Welcome back to another exciting episode. Today, we are in Broward County, South Florida, and we are chasing peacock bass and largemouth bass out of this public park pond in the back of me. So what I'm using is just a live shiner on a simple hook and I'm letting it swim out and I find that there's something about the live ones that gets them going. I guess it triggers them and they've been munching them. So stay tuned. We've already had a lot of fun and you'll see that in the video. So I went to a bait shop, a local bait shop here and uh, I got two dozens of live shiners with a bucket and a pump. So here's the bucket. A bird actually already took a dookie on top and there are the minnows inside live shiners with the pump I already missed the bite I just launched my bait out right away the shiner got hit so the way these fish target their prey is in schools so you'll see schools of like 20 30 peacock just jumping out I mean there's thousands of minnows here there's some small peacock swimming by oh oh I just lost one it's weird because you really need to let these fish take the bait. It's different. Always learning something new. Just take a look at how torn apart this shiner got on the first cast. I literally need to go to another shiner. Look at how it's how it's basically coral that just goes into this peacock lake. It's awesome. Oh yeah, there's a peacock. There's something. There's something. It's fighting. It's fighting nice. Oh, I don't get caught up in this brush here. Don't get caught up in this brush here. Oh, he came off. It was a tilapia, my first ever tilapia. Oh man, I need to be, I need to be careful of these weeds here. All right, I want a peacock now. I'm getting really itchy. There's a bunch of fire ants here. I think they couple got me, to be honest. Oh, there's one. Oh man, there's one. Oh yeah, that's a peacock. That feels more like a peacock. It's running. Oh, I don't know. Oh yeah, first peacock. First peacock on the live shiner. Here he is. Here he is. Yes, yes. Oh. There you go. First peacock bass of the trip. Oh, he ate that right at the corner of his mouth. Let me be careful. I don't need to go to a hospital here in South Florida. I'm good. Look at that beautiful little peacock bass. Southern Florida peacock bass. That is stunning. That's amazing. Oh, I'm so excited about that. I didn't even know I had it on. I was just reeling it in super slowly and bang, that one chomped it. All right, there you go. Oh yeah, I just seen one rise right there. Crazy, it's this public park, there's people rowing and I'm here just catching peacock bass. Cause why not? Oh my gosh. This is the coolest largemouth I ever caught. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. Look at the color on this largemouth. And these fish are small. They're small largemouth, but they are some of the strongest largemouth I've ever caught in my life. I mean, these fish are strong and look at the blue back on that thing. It's literally a blue back largemouth. There's literally a massive peacock. Right there. Massive, massive, massive. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There's a massive peacock right there. Oh yeah. Oh man, they're right there. They both want it. They both want it. Oh man. Oh yeah. 
Oh, I got the big end. Oh. And oh. Oh. No. That was like a four pound peacock, guys. I just lost it. I want to cry, to be honest. There's a little large mouth swimming around. Massive bluegill. As I was saying, they have some huge tilapia in this lake too, like a bunch of different colors. It's really, really cool. Now it is time for me to move. So I'm gonna move around this way. I keep seeing a lot of blow offs on the edge of the weeds right there. Blow ups, my bad. And then I'm gonna go all the way to that little gazebo there. There's a lot of catches there. Keep rising down there. All right, I'm moving. School of Peacock, School of Peacock, School of Peacock. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good one. I ain't losing this one, not again. Oh no, oh no, here's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there you go, look at the colors. Look at the colors, look at the colors on this peacock bass. You guys can see that well, making sure. That is an outstanding species. And I mean, there's like another 10 of them right here. So I need to let you go, buddy. I'm going to catch more. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do this, let's do this. Keeping the GoPro on, this is gonna be, oh yeah, you hear them jumping? Back to back, back to back, back to back. Here we go. Back to back peacocks. Oh yeah, there's, they're just schooling here. They're just schooling back here. Oh yeah. Bang, blow up. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this, this is absolutely fascinating. Oh. Gosh, oh, try to bite him. Oh, look at this. There's just schools, thousands of them. Oh my gosh, this is my biggest one. God bless the sunshine state. I have nothing left to say. They are the strongest species of bass that I have ever laid my filthy hands on. Look at this fish. I'm fangirling, guys. This is the fish of a lifetime. People go their whole lives looking to catch peacock bass, and I'm just doing it in schools, as a matter of fact, in schools of fish. Look at that. Oh, God bless. God bless. Let him grow, let him go, let him grow. Ciao. Three in a row, let's do it. Back to back to back. Is it possible? Is it doable? In these circumstances, yes it is. Come on. This is just gonna be raw, unedited footage. Back to back to back. Peacock bass. Yeah. There's an aggressive one. Yeah, that will get him to eat for sure. For sure. Already on. Already on. Number three. Unedited raw footage. Number three. There's schools of them, guys. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. Oh. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is the best fishing I've ever done in my life. And we're catching peacocks, guys. Raw, unedited footage. Back to back to back peacocks. I don't know if you guys can see this. That beautiful fish. Hope you guys can see it. I mean, these fish are fascinating and there's another one right here. Oh, oh. Back to back to back to back. Oh, very possible here. Oh yeah, here we go. They're already schooling towards it. Already schooling towards it. So the thing about these peacocks is that they're gonna school and then they're just gonna loop right back around and that's when you need to get them because they're gonna be in like 20, like you guys saw, and you'll catch like three, four at once. Oh yeah. Oh God, oh God, that's a big one. That is a big one, I think. I don't know, same thing again. Just absolutely amazing, stunning fish. My gosh, guys. My gosh, my gosh, my gosh, my gosh. This is, ow, 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 ow. Oh, that's terrible. 
So it isn't my hook because I didn't hook one this tiny. Um, but it's really sad that this little guy actually has a hook all the way down his throat. And there's nothing I can do about it because I didn't bring pliers because these fish are bass, so you could just take the hook out. And I'm not letting them eat it that far, so I didn't, haven't killed one. Uh, it's just sad to see. I hope this little guy survives. Oh, oh my gosh, he's so hungry. This, this bass is, didn't even leave. He literally just came back for it. Oh yeah, that's his. School, school's back, school's back. The boys are back in town. Watch this, watch this. I'll hook this one from the back. These minnows don't look healthy to be brutally honest with you. But uh, that's why they're bait minnows, I guess. I wanna feel better about myself, I'll say that. Schooling right here. Schooling right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's no doubt. What the heck was that about? There's a couple peacock there and they didn't even want the bait. We're not starting with that already, are we? Come on, peacock, you're right there. You don't wanna eat? Oh yeah, oh yeah, keep darting, keep darting. Oh, there's one, there's one, there's a good one. Oh my god, they're all good fish, honestly. Oh man, they are strong. They are strong. That's a real good one. Oh, 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 oh. I don't want to hurt these fish. Wow, look at that. That is a beautiful peacock, guys. There you go. So guys, literally what I'm doing is I'm putting on a live shiner. I'll show you how I'm hooking him. I don't think I'm hooking him the right way because they keep dying super quick. Just like that, right through the hook. I'm just letting them swim out. And usually these peacocks are somewhere right between the edge of the weeds and where it gets deeper. So that's literally where I'm throwing it and I just wait. And these things come in, that's why you need to be patient. These things come in schools, and then when they come in schools, you'll catch three or four, as I've been saying. There's like a five, six pound largemouth in here. Oh God, I didn't even know I was on. Here you go. Obviously, peacock and back chasing it. Look at that. Talk about largemouth. Here's another largemouth. These fish are so strange. Oh, it's been caught before, too. Ow. They have these long bodies. They're so long here in Florida. Look at that. They're long and skinny. Weird. All right. Hooked on a live minnow. All right, so just FYI, my GoPro died. And I finally hit my 10th peacock bass of the day. Double digit peacock bass. I don't mean 10 pound, I mean number. species well I just used up all of my live shiners on the stud of a peacock bass we caught 12 peacock bass today one tilapia and three largemouth all on these live minnows let me get them back in the water and I'll be right back I didn't think the fishing would be this good I knew it's very good at this location I mean my thumbs are torn up and it's like 10.30 a.m. And I will be back at the same exact peacock pond tomorrow. So stay tuned, there's a lot of action coming your way.